Hi everybody, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here. Okay, so um, it's, I know it says break five right here, but it's actually break four, number five, coming up next. So this is everybody in break four, as you can see on the top of your screen right there. There's everybody in break four. Thanks everyone. Should be everybody. I think I got everybody right. And then we have one more break to go, and that's it. You sold us out of our, our lot of super break heavy hitters. That's all we got. All right, remember, we just randomized your names, not the categories. Three and a one. Four times for break number four. One. All right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can count. Two, three, and fourth and final time. All right, Nick K, top and bottom. I mean, that's kind of I mean, I'm a pretty honest guy. All right, there we go. All right, and here's how it shakes out, folks. All right, Nick K, there you are. Don, there you go. All celebrity memorabilia. Those are usually 8 by 10s or, I don't know, anything that's not this right here, which would be a card, an actual, like, leaf-signed card. Uh, there's Regimel, Kev California. You got boxing photos and magazines, too. There's Williams. Jeff, you have U uh, wrestling UFC MMA buyback cards and PSA slabbed auto cards. D. Farling, all soccer stuff. Nick K, all celebrity buyback cards. There's Troy. There's John. You have this chunk of teams right here. Nice. Richard K, all hockey in addition to the Niners and Hawks. Don, you have presidential stuff. Panthers, Thunder, all golf. John, you got draft redemptions. Falcons, Sixers, and Cubs as well, John. Nick K, boxing gloves. There's Jonathan Griffin. There's Scott with female UFC MMA photos. And John Parker with male UFC MMA photos. We got Don Shockey with this set of teams here. Nick K with UFC MMA gloves and all other UFC MMA memorabilia items. Don Shockey, Super Souvenirs, boxing. So just boxing for those souvenirs. Everything else goes to their respective team. Nick K, Last Bod Mojo, Saints, Twins, Mets, and all other boxing memorabilia, robes, trunks, uh, etc. We pulled a, a, a boxing practice pad. I don't know what they're called, but one of those. That went to the all memor other memorabilia spot. There's Kev California, there's Jeff Hensley, male wrestling photos, pro wrestling photos, D. Farling, female pro wrestling photos, Aaron Oba with those sets of teams right there, Andrew B. with the souvenir and bar cards for uh, pro wrestling, Adrian, and Nick K. There you go. That was your randomizer for break number four of Super Break Heavy Hitters from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and they'll have the break. Stick around. Hi, uh, I'm back, folks. Really quick, I'm uh, alphabetizing by people's first names so they can keep track of their teams a little bit better. So there it is now. And I'll even highlight them in red as well so you can kind of see your, uh, your names and stuff a little bit more clearly. So there you go. Be right back again. All right, welcome back, folks. The trade window is closed in break number three. Or, sorry, it's break number four. I'm getting them all mixed up now. There's break four. And there's everybody. None, no changes, obviously, but it's officially printed out. All right, so let's see what we got here. We're almost there, Brian. All right. We, we met Rusty261 at the National last year? Two years ago? Last year. Something like that. Chicago, come back, Brian. All right, there's that. I mean, you guys know they're sealed, right? Not <laughs> This past, they, they all, they all melt together. Brian, I was like, dude, it was, it was less than a year ago, man. And I was just like, all right. All right, so there's box one. So there's four boxes per case. I'm sure if you've been watching this entire time, you'll know. Um, I think everybody kind of knows the ground rules by now. I guess our college rules apply if there is a college player or college uniform in here. So if there was like LeBron James's high school uniform or something like that, I guess it would go to the team that he is currently on, which would be the Cavs. Or if it's like Jordan's college uniform or something like that. If it was 
if it was Jordan's college uniform, it would go to the team that he played for the longest, which would obviously be the Bulls. Most of it's pretty self-explanatory, though. We haven't had, we, I think we've only had one minor sort of issue that we're checking in on, but other than that, I think everything's been pretty self-explanatory. All right. All right, so we know the format by now, two per box. First is a card, and it's Upper Deck Logo Collection. I've heard of this guy, Michael Jordan. Well, I'm glad I mentioned that rule because it's college, Jordan. There you go. I guess it's just a manufactured patch, but that still looks pretty sick. So, I'm glad I mentioned those college rules. It's like I'm a sorcerer. So that goes to the Bulls, the team we played for the longest. Um, so that will go to uh, John Griffin with the Bulls. Actually, I'm going to put it in here because I'm going to use this to put all the other hits in. All right, and the next one is, or no, there's three in, two in here? Got a couple in here. First of all, we've got a, a clearly a male pro wrestler. See, I'm, I'm, you can tell where I my sports knowledge is incredibly lacking is when it comes to <laughs> comes to pro wrestling. Well, there's the PSA DNA, and that's Scott Norton. I'll bet people, some people are out there in the world are going like, Joe, you don't know who the hell Scott Norton is? Come on, man. Sorry, guys. All right, I know it's a thing. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, I'm just admitting that I don't know it. Uh, male wrestling. Uh, no, John Jr., that's not going to happen. Male uh, wrestling, pro wrestling photos goes to. If you do that, uh, we just uh, refund you back. Jeff Hensley. We're not trying to deal with buybacks here. We're not trying to. Nice. Jeff Hensley with that one. All right. Nick K., who is a wrestling fan, says he's not important. Genius Moment said he's an, also an arm wrestling champ. That's pretty cool. That, what was that movie with Sylvester Stallone and arm wrestling? That was a good one. I don't know why. All right, anyway. Next one. No name on the back. It's, oh, Steve Garvey. Hi, Steve Garvey. There you go. Authentic autograph, Super Break certified. Steve Garvey. Let's pull back the camera. A little. Over the top. That's right, Brian. That's the movie. So, look at this. That San Diego edition of Steve Garvey? That's, that definitely has an S in there and not an L.A. All right, there's the original artwork right there, too. All right, so... I, but, come on. But that the red numbers are definitely Dodgers. Unless the per same per I'm I'm hoping the same person has it. So Troy has the Dodgers. And Aaron Oba has the Padres. Come on. <laughs> I guess this will have to be a random Oh SG logo. Oh no, you're right. So that what it so is that SG for Steve Garvey? So this is definitely LA, right? Back me up, folks. I'm saying LA. I'm going with Dodgers. That goes to Troy. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah, totally like yeah, that's a Dodger uniform, clearly. That's that's a red number, right? I my my eyes are playing tricks on me. I thought it was, uh, yeah, everyone's saying L.A. All right. Okay, um, great. So Dodgers, Troy, there you go. It says SG on the helmet, not SD. All right, next one. Oh, this will, this will go in here. Okay, next box. Uh, 
Okay, so this is box, what box is this? This is box two of the four in here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Devin, I just looked it up. Uh, in 1974, I know he inscribed it. Not that it would have made a difference, but in 1974, uh, he was a Dodger when he won that NL MVP. The sticker is not on the top loader. which is for the Reds, Billy Hamilton graded 2011 Bowman's best prospects. Nice. So centering is a 10, corners a nine, edges and surface a nine five. Doesn't look like it's numbered. There you go. Nice. No, yeah, I don't see a number here, but Billy Hamilton prospects card graded a nine five. Nice one for the Reds. And that will go to, where's the reds in this break? John Parker with the Vikings, Lakers, Reds row. There you go, reds. Nice, let's pop that card in here. What is that, I'm curious about this. What do we have here? And wow, there it is. Steve Draper says, let's see a draft redemption, and there it is. So the 2017 Super Break Heavy Hitters draft. Yeah, so there's a redemption code that's, that's blocked off right there. But yeah, there's all the information on the back saying that they're going to be broadcasting. The draft is on <clears throat> May 6th, 2017. So this that makes sense now. That goes to the draft redemption spot going to John Parker. So I don't know I don't I don't think this necessarily indicates your draft position. In fact, I'm almost certain it doesn't indicate your draft position. I think that gets determined in a randomizer when you do it. They're just keeping track of how many they gave away. All right, so there you go. Boom. Draft redemption for John Parker. So you got to let us know in early May, John, uh, what you end up drafting. I guess all the all the big sell sheet stuff is through that draft redemption. All right, two more to go. Two things in here. It looks like a photo, eight by ten photo. The card first. Oh, they were they were on the sell sheet too, Kat. We have That's pretty I like that stamp there. That's Elvin Hayes. 18 out of 30. There's no indication where, so where does Elvin Hayes go? I don't know my old school basketball history. So since there's no team indicated there, yeah, just this Panini Century collection. Yeah, once again, no team indicated, although, we should check the checklist first. 
2010? No, I don't think we're going to go back to we don't have 2010, maybe. Because he played for um played for the Rockets, the Bullets, and then the Rockets again. We may have to go with our team he played for the longest rule because there's no indication on team right there. Let me just look up one more resource right here and see just to just to just so we can get it right so I'm looking at cardboard can I look at group break checklist and I'm looking at cardboardconnection.com century collection no 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 checklist set there so if you look on your screen I'm gonna switch over really quick to uh, to Elvin Hayes there so we're gonna Looks like he played for the Rockets the longest, I believe. No, is it going to do us like that? Oh, no, it goes to Washington. So he played with the all those incarnations of, of the uh, Bullets, Wizards, or teams right there. So all that Washington team right there. So we're going to send that to the Wizards, that old school autograph. And that goes to Adrian. Nice. All right. And we've got two eight by tens in here. The first one is clearly the Suns, clearly Dan Marley. Nice. PSA DNA right there. There's your PSA DNA. There's the card again, Dan Marley. Phoenix Suns with that one. And that goes to Suns on this list. Regimel with the Suns. There you go. And the next one we have Robbie E. Do, do I should I know this guy? I don't know who Robbie E is. PSA DNA. Should I know Robbie E? Is this like a big pop culture thing I'm totally missing? No, he's a wrestler. See, I, I know I don't know wrestling, Nick K. All right, so that goes to male pro wrestling photos. And that goes to Jeff, you, you, Jeff Hensley with that one. There you go. It's pretty clear that I'm terrible at wrestling. Sorry. All right, there you go. And the last box before we get to our last case. All right, so. Oh, he was on Amazing Race with his ex and another wrestling star. Okay. Fair enough. So there you go. The wrestler. All right, two more to go. Let's see what we got. We have, that's easy. I know where that goes. Carson Wentz, 66 out of 99. Nice big relic from Immaculate. Immaculate Collegiate, which we have on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Join those breaks there. Like that segue. That goes to the Eagles. Who has the Eagles? In this, remember our college rules apply. Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. These aren't in alphabetical. These are in order by your name. That's how I'm struggling to find the team here. Troy. There you go, Troy. There he is. Troy with the Eagles, Dodgers, Orioles spot. Two birds and a Dodgers. 
All right. Last one, ladies and gentlemen, is... I I'm assuming this is another female wrestler. Nick K, please confirm. Oh, no, we, since we saw her already. This is just a different picture. This is Brooke Tessmacher. Nice. Silver ink autograph. There's a PSA DNA. PSA DNA on the back again. And there you go, folks. And that's it. Female pro wrestling spot goes to... Female pro wrestling... David Farling, D. Farling with the female pro wrestler spot. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was another break, a super break. Heavy hitters, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Next one, last one coming up. Stick around. jazbeeshobbyland.com. <laughs> we'll be right back.